Welcome back to Satisfactory, folks. I have been busy in between episodes, let me tell you that. First things, uh, I have built five extra uh, coal power generators, so we now have 700 megawatts, and I don't know if that's going to be enough for what's going to happen in this episode, but we will see, because we are basically kickstarting quite a big production line. And I haven't uh, kickstarted it yet because I wanted to do, do it together with you guys. Uh, but I built it and everything is ready. I just need to hook it in. So our two uh, copper mines down here, they have been upgraded to Mark II miners. I think they always were, already were. And they are now producing 300 uh, copper per minute in total because I have overclocked them to 250%. We can only carry 270 on the belt, but it's fine. All eight of our impure iron nodes over here are also upgraded to Mark II miners and all the belts, of course. And they are overclocked to 250% uh, producing 150 a minute. Uh, well, four of them are, and four of them are overclocked to 200% and uh, 120 a minute meaning that we're producing 270, which is what the belts can carry anyway. Okay. All of this belt has been upgraded as well, so it's all Mark three now, and as well the lifts in there. And if we run up here, we will see that all of our iron production is overclocked to be Mark III as well now. So they are going as fast as they can. I don't know what this guy is producing right now, actually. Oh, he's producing uh, the ingots for the steel, because I've been using a lot of steel. Okay, let's continue upstairs to our copper, uh, where I make a little mistake but it's not consequential so because we're going to need it anyway but i set up uh, three more production facilities of uh, iron or copper ingot smelting but we actually only need one of them the one that we already have but that has been upgraded to mark three as well the other two are not quite needed yet because we are producing 450 uh, ironing or copper ingots over in the other one and that's all we need right now well we're producing 300 270 because of our belt limitations so here is the first place that we need to hook up and that is our copper ingots need to come over here and as you will see i have increased our copper uh, wire production threefold so we will be producing 1350 uh, copper wire a minute when everything is up to mark four belts but for now it'll be 270 uh, copper wire per minute so let's go ahead and hook that up and all of these are configured and should start working immediately and this one copper belt copper ingot belt is supplying all three of these because we only use 15 ingots per minute in each machine and produce 45 wire so one line of 450 copper ingots will supply three lines of wire production or 1350 wire a minute and we are already getting wire coming down the line here so we need to hurry up and here we have some more, uh, we have some iron plates here. We need to hook them into here and get another 12 assemblers making our reinforced iron plate. And we will hook the reinforced iron plate into here. There we go. Uh, from, uh, from these six machines, and now we are producing 135 iron plate a minute. Uh, something is wrong. Why 
is this guy not producing? You are. Okay. So, put it out. Thank you. And there it goes, down the line, together with all the other stuff. Okay. And we should have iron plate uh, reinforced or stitched iron plate in reality being produced in all the machines. They are all hooked up to power and everything. So they're just waiting for materials to produce. But we did have a full container over there. So we are good on reinforced iron plate for a little while. But these do produce 135 minutes, uh, 135 uh, stitched iron plate or reinforced iron plate a minute. So that is very nice. Now, all of this has been done because of this down here. These 10 machines that we have in here. These 10 machines will be producing our alternate recipe for frames, modular frames, and our reinforced iron plate is already coming in and filling up, so that's okay. And these will produce six per minute, which means that we have 10 machines and that is 60 a minute. Now we need to hook up our pipes here. There we go. And in come the pipes. And we should start producing on pipes. There we go. There's the first one. The modular frames. Very good. So this looks a bit weird. The top level over here is our reinforced iron plate coming from over at the other factory. The second line here, the middle line, is actually the overflow for the reinforced iron plate because we only need 120 reinforced iron plate. There goes our power. <laughs> okay. So yeah, we spiked up too high. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. But we are producing 135 uh, reinforced iron plate a minute and we only need 120. So the overflow will come over here and you can see it's coming there and run on top of the output for the modular frames and it will come along here and come out there and if we run upstairs and have a look then we have some storage here and the one on the left here is for the modular frames i guess we didn't have time to make one or it's on its way and this one is for reinforced iron plate and we have one in there already and it'll be coming very slowly it's just 15 a minute and this is for our own personal usage so that's pretty good that's pretty good really we didn't even make one modular frame darn okay uh, let's see we in order to make some more generators let's make some more generators here let's make four more we have enough cable but we are going to need some more we have enough modular frames we just need some rotors so let's pull out our craft bench here and we'll actually make some more cable just a little bit more that or something and rotors we can make what we need nice come on All right so you know what let me just run over and set these guys up here comes the overflow 
and it's a lot of overflow right now because of the power outage did we get any module frames no not a single one okay but let me run over and hook up the coal power it shouldn't take but a second to do but well, while we do this, let's talk about what uh, the next thing is. Because in order to send off the space elevator again, if we run over and have a look at that, it's on the way anyway. Then we have, have to send off uh, modular frames, which is why I started producing them. So we need 100 modular frames and we need 150 motors or 500 modular frames, sorry. So we need to make motors and for that we need rotors and stators. So I think rotors is going to be the next project and then stators and then motors to be able to send off our space elevator and unlock tiers five and six. So that we can get uh, dual power and all the other good stuff that we really want. So let's see. Let's build these bad boys. Uh, power, coal generator. And I think what we'll do is we'll just stick him in here. Something like... that maybe how does that look looks okay this one won't go in th that deep will it it will almost it will does cut into the stone a little bit but I'm fine with that I can live with it and then we can fit one here right next to the other ones so, and then we just need room for one more, and I guess we will stick that. Come on. Come on. There. Okay. So then we need some belt. Or the coal. And we'll come up to here, I guess. And come into that one. And then we'll just stick a splitter on. Like. Like that. It's still going. Good, good. And we'll stick a splitter on here as well. Input will be there. Okay. And this really doesn't need to be. Oh, isn't it lined up? Yeah, it is. It really doesn't doesn't need to be Mark Three belt, but never mind. Doesn't want to do Mark Three belt. Let's try it. this conveyor belt. Should work. Good being the. Operative word, word. It's not working. Why is it not working? Normally it works. Let's let's pull this back a little bit then. Like that, I guess. And then another splitter. Actually, let's do this. We'll stick you there. Because this should definitely work. Yeah. And will this go? No. But this will. Yeah. Why are you that color? Okay. And then we can stick that splitter in here. And line it up. Something like that. 
And get the coal going over there. Then we need some power. So power pool. Come out here. Somewhere. Right now I just want it to work. I can always fix it up later. And we need another power pool. Actually, this power pool can power up you. And you need some belt. There. That's 50 extra power. So this will be 200 extra power, bring us, bringing us to 900. Hopefully, that will be enough. And power pool will fit. Let's just stick it on the other side here. There. And there. Did you get it? Did you get it? I'm not sure it got it. Uh, oh, it did. Good. So that should mean that we have a potential of 900 megawatts now. Okay. Let's run back to the factory. And power it all up again and see if we can manage to make some modular frames here. Because that was kind of the idea with this episode. Make modular frames. Come on. Luckily with the Blade Runners it doesn't take too long to run back and forth. But it would be nice to get the Explorer or trains. Trains would be fantastic. Really like the look of the trains. So let's come up here and see if we will start making modular frames or we will blow the circuits again. Hopefully we won't blow the circuits again because that would be annoying. Let's put it that way. Okay. Come on. Crap. Blew the circuits again. Okay, let me fix the power up and then I'll be right back. See you guys in a second. Alright, so we are over here at our coal plant, uh, coal power production plant. And I have set up another 10 power plants. So we now have a potential 1.4 uh, gigawatts, so 1,400 megawatts. And we are actually already using uh, some. I've disconnected the entire factory, but not all the miners. So just the miners are using around 400 at the moment. And that's because a lot of them are full, I guess. When they're actually going, I think they're using around 800 megawatts or something like that. So we have 600 left. So I'm not at all sure that this is going to be enough. But we're going to hook up the plant and hopefully it will be enough so let's try it out so I disconnected it just inside the iron smelting area so none of the smelters or anything are going at the moment it's only the miners that are going and I guess once we get up there, all of the miners will be full because none of uh, the resources they're producing are being used. So once we get up here, let's take a look at the power consumption and see what we're using. My guess is uh, next to nothing. Let's have a look here. 280, so we are using some 360 okay but now let's hook this in and that starts up the entire factory and up goes the power usage fast let's run over to the modular frames and see if we actually start getting some 
And hopefully the power will keep going. Or the factory will keep going once we get over here. See. Here comes. So product is coming in. Yes, it is. And they are going out. Outstanding. We are producing modular frames. Very nice. And we will be producing 60 a minute once we get up to Mach 4 belts and stuff. How much power are we using? 800. So we haven't even broken 900, I think. So why it tripped the circuit breaker when we kicked the factory into gear before, I have no idea. Seven, eight hundred megawatts we're using at the moment. And that seems fine. Let's go up and see at our storage area. Up here. Let's see how we are doing for product. So we have 40 frames now. Very nice. We have a lot of reinforced iron plate. And we are full of steel. And downstairs we are full of pipe as well, I think. We do need to get pipe going out and coming up here as well. But I don't think it'll be from that line of pipe production that we have there. But yeah, we are producing. We are producing. Very nice. And we are getting quite a few reinforced iron plates over here. Not as many as we would like, but we are getting some. We are producing, what was it, 135 a minute? Yeah, so should be okay. Well, we'll be producing 135 again once we get to Mark 4 belts, which we are not at yet. But we are producing and everything is looking great. So the next project is going to be rotors. And for rotors, if we just stick down a craft bench here, actually let's, we have the material for a assembler. No, we do not. Okay, let's just run upstairs. Uh, how do we do that there? Can't even find my way around my own factory. So we have assemblers here and the screws are not hooked up at the moment. But, uh, no, that's not assemblers. Uh, we have assemblers over here. My bad. Okay. So, we have the alternate for rotors, but that takes copper as well. So I don't think we're gonna use that. We're going to use the regular, which means that we need screws and quite a lot of them. So I think that's what we're going to do. I think that's what we're going to do. Yeah. And that is going to be in the next episode, guys. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.